Wind up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Boot Camp. In this video, we are going to talk about the marksman, Granger. Granger has a good set of burst and blink skills. Our death channer, Granger, is a marksman hero. I consider Granger as a mobile burst marksman. Since his second skill lets him blink and it buffs his next two basic attacks with extra damage. Unfortunately, his passive skill grants him to gain less extra attack speed from items and emblems. His ultimate skill deals burst damage to enemies hit by the super bullets from his super cannon. You have slain an enemy. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Granger based on my experience. I will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this boot camp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. Granger's passive, Caprice, allows Granger to fill his gun with six bullets. His gun is reloaded with bullets after he consumes all the bullets in his gun. His gun will also be fully reloaded after a short cooldown. The sixth bullet will deal critical damage to the target. There is a short pause when Granger reloads his gun. Also, his passive skill buffs his basic attacks to deal more damage. On the other hand, this skill decreases the attack speed gained from equipments and emblems by 50%. Granger's first skill, Rhapsody. Let's Granger to fill his gun with all bullets and shoot all of them forward, one at a time. Each bullet will deal physical damage to the enemy's hit. The last bullet will deal critical damage because of his passive skill. Each upgrade of this skill will decrease the cooldown and increase the base damage of this skill. Granger's second skill, Rondo, lets Granger blink in the designated direction. Upon using this skill, his next two basic attacks will deal extra damage within 5 seconds. Each time his first skill, Rhapsody, hits an enemy hero. The cooldown of this skill will be reduced by 0.5 seconds. Upgrading this skill will decrease the cooldown and increase the base damage of this skill. Granger's ultimate skill, Death Sonata, lets Granger transform his violin into a super cannon. He fills the super cannon with bullets. Each time he shoots the super cannon, two super bullets are launched forward at a time. The super bullet ignores minions along the way and only hit enemy heroes. Super bullets will explode upon hitting the first enemy hero. The explosion will deal physical damage to enemies nearby and will reduce their movement speed. Each time Granger shoot a super bullet, he can move to another location depending on which direction your directional pad is pointing at. When the duration of this skill ends, the cooldown of this skill is decreased by 15% for every two super bullets remaining. Upgrading this skill will decrease the cooldown and increase the base damage of this skill. There are so many items that you can buy for Granger. You can focus on offensive items since Granger is a marksman. For me, I choose to buy items that grants critical chance, critical damage, attack speed, and physical attack. As for starting item, you can consider buying Magic Shoes. Magic Shoes grants additional movement speed and cooldown reduction. This can help you cast more of your skills. You might also want to consider Hunter Strike. This item grants physical attack and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive improves your movement speed when you have attacked an enemy 5 times in a row. This buff lasts for 3 seconds. This effect has a cooldown of 15 seconds. You might want to consider Blade of Despair. 
This item grants additional physical attack and movement speed. Its unique passive will give you additional physical attack when the target's health is below a certain percentage. The movement speed bonus can also help you chase enemies or escape death. Buying attack items such as Berserker's Fury can boost your damage effectively. This item gives you additional physical attack and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional critical damage on your critical hits. Also, dealing critical hits will increase your physical attack by a certain amount for a short period of time. This is a great item since Granger deals his sure critical hit on the sixth bullet. This also amplifies the last bullets of his first and ultimate skill. You might also want to consider Bloodlust X. This item grants physical attack and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive grants 20% Spell Vamp. Spell Vamp regenerates health points from damage dealt by skills. Lastly, you might want to consider Blade of the Hepdesis. This grants physical attack and health points. Its unique passive reduces the target's physical defense by 25 when your skill hits the target. The defense reduction is applied before landing the skill's damage. This lasts for 3 seconds. The item build for Granger really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spell to be used on Granger is Flicker. You can use it to escape danger, even death. I use Flicker a lot for Marksman Heroes, since Marksman Heroes must always keep their distance. You can also consider Sprint. This can really help you run from danger, or chase enemies. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Marksman Emblem set. Custom Marksman Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a Marksman. Set Bravery to its max level because it can give you extra physical damage. Higher physical damage means higher damage for your attacks. Setting Doom to max level will provide you additional critical damage. Higher critical damage means higher damage on your critical hits. This is a good combination with your passive skill, since the 6th bullet will deal a sure critical hit. Get Weakness Finder to have the chance to slow enemies. The effect will greatly reduce target's movement speed and attack speed. This effect has a short cooldown. For me, it's the best thing to get. Why? Because this can help you chase enemies when they are slowed. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the cooldown lower and the base damage higher. That means, you can deal more attacks to enemies with this skill. Prioritize second skill less since the first skill is what you need for damage dealing. Always upgrade the ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Granger's passive skill is really explosive. The sixth bullet critical damage not only affects basic attacks, but also his first and ultimate skill. This grants a huge amount of burst damage for the last super bullet of his super cannon. The critical damage for the last super bullet could reach around 3000 damage, depending on your physical attack. Granger's first skill is also a burst damage skill. With the last bullet dealing critical damage, you just need to aim well. With the ability to move while firing this skill, enemies chasing you will feel the pain of your bullets without stopping to deal basic attacks. Also make sure to aim this skill properly, as every hit of this skill will reduce cooldown for your second skill. Granger's second skill is what makes Granger mobile, with its ability to make Granger blink towards a direction. This can be used to either chase enemies or escape death. This also buffs his next two basic attacks. Do take note that the buff doesn't empower his first and ultimate skill. His ultimate skill is what you need for extreme burst. The first two super bullets are still bearable to receive, but for the last super bullet, this is where bodies will shatter on the ground. On this clip, the damage of his last super bullet is shown. Just look on how massive the damage is. Well, just make sure you aim this skill properly. In terms of team fights, I usually follow a simple combo for Granger. First, use your first skill and aim it properly to the target. During this skill, you can opt to use your second skill to either realign your aim, or position yourself to either chase enemies or escape death. Then, if ever you've not used your second skill yet, it's the time to use it. Then, do some basic attacks since your second skill buffed your next two basic attacks. Then, 
If the enemy tries to run away, it's safe to use your ultimate. Spam that skill and turn the enemy into dust. Additional tip. Try to move while using your ultimate skill. You don't want to be an easy prey for the enemies. So you need to move while casting your ultimate. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Granger. This video just guides you on how to use Granger the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Granger. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to my channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. See you on the next Mobile Legends Bootcamp. Cheers. Victory!